Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you at this time. I bless your name and I glorify you. Lord, I pray that tonight you move in a supernatural way, unprecedented manner, and drop your blessing in every life in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, we say you are exalted here tonight. And we glorify you tonight. And we pray by your exalted, mighty, powerful name, you do great supernatural things in the life of everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you'll confirm your word. You'll confirm your word with signs following. And these signs will follow every word, every statement, every reference, and you confirm it in every life, in every hearer, in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you. God bless you. You can be seated. Today, as I bring the word of God to you, for you to understand, this is not the first time that the Lord will stretch out His mighty hand and bless people. I want to tell you what happened outside. It was in UK. That is Britain. And we're having an evening meeting like this. And there was a medical doctor in that meeting. This is a white man, a Briton himself. The problem is he developed a problem in the heart. And he had a hole in the heart. And yes, he was still walking and was still moving about, but he couldn't do any strenuous work. And we're having that meeting in an exalted place. He had to climb up. And we don't know how long it took him. To be able to climb up. And then it came to the time of prayer. And while prayer was going on. I said whoever you are. Wherever you are. The Lord is touching you tonight. And you know that instantaneously. The hole in the heart. The Lord performed the operation. And became totally well. And very very strong. And then he ran down. He ran up. And then he came to share the testimony. And he said, now I am well, medical doctor. Put your hands together for Jesus. If God can do that for a medical doctor, the Lord will do your own today. Still in Britain. I was uh, in Britain in a Pentecostal church there. We call that church the Elim Pentecostal Church. And I just finished one of the sessions. We are talking about the power, the anointing, and the gifts of the Spirit. And this man, one of the ministers, ran to me. And he said, please, can you join hands with me and pray together a prayer of agreement? I said, before we do that, what are we praying about? And he said, I need to have a wife. And so I said, you look as old as I am. Have you never married? Oh yes, he said, I've married. But because I have a deadly disease, poison in my whole system, in the blood, he went for medical tests. And the medical test revealed that he had poison all over the body. And so when the wife saw that, the wife said, this man is dying. I cannot stay with a dying man. He'll soon be a dead man. And therefore she packed all the load and ran away. And that's why the man said, I should pray with him so that she'll be able to have, he'll be able to have another wife. I said, no, I don't pray that kind of prayer. I believe one man, one wife, until death do us part. So he said, what am I going to do now? Oh, I said, I will pray that your wife will come back. Oh, she he said, but he will never come back. I said, how do you know? He said, I know my wife. I said, I know my Jesus. You know your wife. I know my Jesus. I am going to pray in the name of Jesus. And that woman will come back. So I said, why did she pack her load to go? Oh, he said, it's because of the poison in my body. I said, okay, close your eyes. And it was in the open. And I just laid hands on that minister. And I said, Lord, 
change the whole blood system in his body in jesus name amen and the man thought have you finished i said yes because you see when i pray it's short it's simple it's straightforward we call it s s and s short simple straightforward so i said now praise the lord i said you are going to do something go back to that same doctor that tested you before and have another medical test so i said they will not find a trace of blood in your, is opposing your body then for to copy that medical report send your wife don't beg her don't plead just send the medical report and then your wife will come back and you know that white man a british man a minister he just accepted the word as you accept the word tonight mighty miracles will take place in your life and he went to the medical doctor and said doctor doctor test me again and the doctor tested him and the doctor opened his mouth he couldn't close his mouth and said what happened to you where did you go and the man related the story because there was no trace of poison in the blood anymore and so he made a photocopy of that medical report and saying to the wife when the wife saw that the wife packed all her load and came back again following year i was back there preaching that same ending pentecostal church and so i got back there and I, I just finished one of my sessions and the man came to me and said now pastor do you recognize me i looked at him i said do i recognize you all you white people you look alike and i don't know which is which he said i am the man that saw you wanting a new wife and then said you told me to go to the doctor and to have another medical report and then i did it and then he said i have the singular honor of introducing mrs so and so my wife unto you the wife had come back put your hands together for jesus <laughs> praise the lord that's a word of power that same word of authority is coming to you tonight you will get your miracle in jesus name now i've spoken about britain let me go to america it was in minnesota and minnesota was saint paul and i said in the name of the the names of the twin cities that's a stage in america we're having a program there and just like a beautiful night like this were there and a Nigerian nurse working in one of the hospitals got to know that I was there and she had asked about me when she was in Nigeria many years ago in the hospital there was a Korean woman that was dying and this Korean woman to lie on the side difficult to lie on that other side difficult even on the back on the tummy very difficult and the body was already peeling off and to carry her like this was very difficult because she had a terrible disease that affected the whole body and the whole skin and then the nurse went to the doctor and said uh, pastor so and so from nigeria is here in minnesota and he's having a special program and he's praying for people can i take this korean woman in our hospital can i take her to the meeting oh the doctor said take her anywhere if she is here in the hospital, she will die. If she goes to uh, any meeting, she will die. She might even die on the way. She will die in any case, anywhere you take her to. You can take her. And they brought her in the ambulance. And then as they brought her in the ambulance, they, they just uh, put her on the stretcher and put her at the back of the church. They couldn't even get near the front. Because if they made too much movement, the woman could just pass out like that. And then I was preaching, talking about the power in the love of God and the power in the word of God. And then it came to the time to make an altar call. I made the altar call. After the altar call, that is telling people to give their lives to the Lord and be born again. After that, I began to pray for the people who are sick. And I didn't even know she was right there at the back. 
and then i said oh lord everyone here now having any problem touch them heal them that was all and that woman all the rotting parts of the body all the sores in the body instantaneously dried up and then she had, she got energy and without the nurse going to appeal to her and uh, saying uh, why don't you get up god is working miracle god is helping other people god is living other people without any appeal at all she got up and then she began to walk instantaneously all the sicknesses were all and then she came to the front and i saw the woman coming to the front and i saw tears in her eyes on her face and i said uh, uh, then why are you crying she was crying for joy and she said pastor just one question to ask you i have never been to church in my life i've never opened the bible in my life because she was a buddhist because in korea she was serving buddha before she came to america and she said i've been a buddhist i've never read the bible this name jesus i have never believed on the lord jesus christ why did god heal me and then i had the, uh, the singular honor to say god heal you because it's a miracle of mercy not a miracle of marriage and tonight miracle of mercy yeah. i said miracle of mercy yeah. the lord is doing wonder, wonderful things all over the world i was uh, still in america now in america we went for a, i went for a program and you know in america when you finish of course you understand they are not as large as this it wasn't like a brick crusade it was just like a, a conference of uh, believers but we had one black american there paralyzed on the wheelchair and in america whenever you finish your service you will stay uh, near the door as the people are going out you will shake their hands and you will say thank you for coming and uh, we want to see you again please come again then that one will go thank you for coming we want to see you again please come again and uh, you know after preach no if you preach for if you preach three messages a day when at the end of every message when the people are going out thank you for coming and uh, we want to see you again please come again you have to do that if you don't do that there is no sugar in your tea and so i had to stand there and there was this man he was in the wheelchair and the people were coming and i will shake their hands and this fellow was at the back that he is of the queue as the people queued up and they were shaking my hands and he was in the wheelchair and i prayed already and i told them i have already sent the watch of god and the power of god into your life the miracle is there and when you know this one will come he was looking at us and in his heart he was saying oh lord why can't i go and greet the pastor myself and then the spirit of god spoke within him the power of god has been released on you already it's not for you to have the action of faith all of a sudden while the people were just coming like that he rose up from the wheelchair and then he started walking my direction and then he came to my front and he stood like a man that was totally made whole and he stretched out his hand and i said thank you for coming i want to see you again please come again and that that place was electrified with joy because god is a wonderful god and god works not only in nigeria not only in africa he works all over the world before i read my text to you i want to now go to russia russia now in the capital moscow what had happened is the students there the student body at the university there they invited me to come and talk to them but in order for them to process visa for me, they had to go to the Christian Pentecostal Union. That's how they call their own PFN there. The Pentecostal Union of Churches or the Christian Pentecostal Union to get a letter from them and send to Nigeria to the embassy so that I'll be able to travel to Russia. And so I went there for the student body then the christian pentecostal union they called me and they said we were the people that made you to come because we gave letter for you to get visa won't you have one day crusade with us i said that's all right 
just one day that will be all right and then i said where will it be they said at the parliamentary building now you need to understand russia in that parliamentary building for 70 long years that's why all that's where all the parliaments came together and they declared no god in russia but thank god how many of you know that when there was no god in russia there was god in nigeria and god in africa and god in europe and god everywhere else is the man that closes his eyes that he says he cannot see the sun i am opening my eyes and i know the sun is there they said there was no god that's the parliamentary building they used and then they said i said when are we going to have the crusade they said 10 o'clock in the morning i said why ah they said you are coming from africa we don't want to do anything in the night we want you to be in the day so that we will see everything that is going on i said no problem that's all right and then we came to the parliamentary building and the place was filled up thousands of people thousands 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 of people and then they advertised and they said this is pastor so and so is coming from africa god is using him the sick have been healed blind eyes been opened the lame they're rising up and walking miracles are taking place so somebody wanted to prove us wrong that god does not work miracles today that there is no god doing anything like that and he went to find somebody paralyzed legs paralyzed hands paralyzed that could not move at all for 25 years how many years did i say 25 years and then when all the people had gathered then he puts that woman by the door so that as people are going out when we say god is able god is mighty god is powerful then as everybody is going out they will see that woman paralyzed for 25 years and then they will say ah but he said god can do all things i about this one and i didn't know anything going on i didn't know anything anybody was trying on us so i began to talk about jesus and then after the message about jesus i told them if you want to have jesus as your savior raise up your hand and many many people did and now i said it's time to pray for the sick and we're going to pray and whatever sickness whatever infirmity whatever deformity you have in your body i'm going to pray for you now the moment you hear the mention of the name of jesus i said the miracle is there and then i prayed and many people in the audience received miracles and they were coming out and coming out and then remember the paralyzed woman there how many years paralysis how many 25 as i mentioned the name of jesus and the people inside were receiving miracles that woman at the gate that woman at the door the power of god came upon her and the hands stretched out and the legs stretched out and then she jumped up and she started walking up and down i was on the stage i was still encouraging the people and somebody went there took a photograph and they made quite a big noise about it all over moscow and in russia and that's the reason why i was also invited to belarus here and then uh, then the uh, pentecostal christian union christian Pentecostal Union, called me and said now you came for the students you will come for us now again and um, and they wanted me to say yes before i left and i had no choice i said yes i will come when i came back and they uh, want now to start crusade everything on new God works miracles and uh, everybody was very much expectant i came for the first night and that night i had my friend in america vincent sinan is uh, an historian concerning the pentecostal church all over and he was with me on the stage that very day and uh, i came on like this saturday they introduced me i was about to preach and then when i announced when i was coming i forgot a point as i was coming into the auditorium that night one of the ushers gave me the photograph and said when you came some months ago this woman was paralyzed for 25 years 
and then she got up and started walking here is a photograph he gave it to me and uh, so to encourage the people like i'm encouraging you now i said praise the lord when i came here a few months ago there was one woman she had been paralyzed for 25 years hands withered legs withered crawling on the ground like animal but when i came and we were in this parliamentary building this woman got healed grows up look at the photograph i didn't even know that the woman was in the audience and so the woman rose up far away in the middle of the audience and started walking and i didn't because she wasn't limping everything was all right she just walked like if like the queen of uh, of uh, of russia just walking like this and walking i kept on talking i was wondering how is it that you know i'm preaching and this woman is standing up and walking and then she walked uh, towards the platform and i was i was talking but i was only in my heart what kind of ushers are here in moscow that they didn't stop this woman and then she climbed up the platform and i was uh, wondering you know, how many of you know that preachers must not show that they are afraid while they are preaching so i acted as if i am bold but with the corner of my eyes i was looking at her i said will not these ushers take this woman and not allow her to come to the stage and then she came near me i said we're in for it today all of a sudden she took the microphone out of my hand and then she began to talk and she said i am the woman i said watch and the people they were wild with joy that in this our day god is still at work i said in this our day god is still at work and she gave the testimony how she will stay in one place except somebody comes to carry her she cannot go to the toilet she cannot go to the bathroom 25 years paralyzed and now she stood up well i don't need to tell you it's because of that eventually uh, russia invited us to come and teach in their bible schools because of god manifesting his power and in mighty miracle and tonight is your night i said tonight is your night tonight i'm talking to you on the wonder walking power of god's word the wonder walking power of god's word is walking everywhere i've been to many places in africa it's walking i've been to many places in nigeria it's walking i've been to many places in britain it's walking i've been to many places in america it's walking the wonder walking power of god's word in um, psalm 107 psalm 107 verse 20 is sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions he sent his word and that word is coming to you tonight he sent his word that's all he says and when you sit down there or you are standing up there and then you are receiving the word of the lord it's the word that carries power it's the word that carries authority it's the word that comes with anointing he sent his word and then when the word got to its target he healed them and he delivered them from their destruction as the word of god comes to you tonight number one there's going to be the wonder of salvation when you receive the word when you accept the word and when you embrace the word when you believe the word there is the wonder the wonder of salvation number two there's the wonder of supernatural healing as it has happened to many other people so it will happen to you the wonder of supernatural healing number three is the wonder of supernatural deliverance and dominion the wonder of supernatural deliverance and dominion any evil spirit that is waging war with you tonight is the end of that evil spirit any spirit of affliction of infirmity that is waging war with your life 
or with your family tonight is the end of that spirit of infirmity in jesus name or maybe it's a spirit of insanity as you hear the word of god as you hear that word tonight he sent his word and he healed them and he delivered them from all their destructions there is the wonder then of supernatural deliverance and dominion number four there is the wonder of total freedom everybody say total freedom, total freedom. and tonight is your night Amen. number five is the wonder of abundant life i told you before that the word of jesus the word of christ says the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy and then jesus said i am come is the prince of life is the resurrection and the life i am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly number six is a wonder of supernatural power the wonder of supernatural power as the word is coming to you as the word is reaching out to you the wonder of supernatural power and then number seven the wonder of heavenly inheritance the wonder of heavenly inheritance that's what the word does and tonight as you hear the word you accept the word you believe the word and you are standing on this never failing powerful working wonder working word of god it will happen to you there is a story in in uh, matthew chapter 8 matthew chapter 8 and you will see the power of the word matthew chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 5 and when jesus was entered into capernaum there came unto him a centurion beseeching him that word beseeching him that that's the old english word for sin pleading with him begging him asking him praying to him but you see when jesus entered he didn't go to the centurion but the centurion came to jesus that's why i always give the opportunity to the people that realize who jesus is to come to come to the lord to come to christ because his savior and through him because of the shedding of his blood he forgives your sin and because of the shedding of his blood by his stripes you are healed but you have to come you have to come that's what that's what they did the leper came and was cleansed but the leper was not cleansed until he came the centurion came and the servant was made whole but the servant was made not made whole until he came the one the woman that was having issue of blood for 12 years came and the issue of blood dried up but the issue of blood did not dry up until she came and the sinners came and they were forgiven but they were not forgiven until they came that word come it's very important that's why jesus said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest he said if you will come i will do the cleansing if you will come i will do the saving if you will come i will do the healing if you will come i will do the breaking of the yoke that I just one thing for you to do come come unto me all ye that labor and heavy laden and i will give you rest come this centurion we are told came unto him now it's very important you come with the right mind and you come to the right person do you know that peter was there he didn't go to peter as people think of going to saint peter do you know that john was there he didn't go to saint john 
as people think of going to St. John. Do you know that Andrew was there? He didn't go to St. Andrew. As people think of coming to St. Andrew. You see, there are people, they leave Jesus alone. And instead of coming to Christ, instead of coming to the Savior, instead of coming to the one who died for us, they want to go to a religious personality. But no, in fact, I will tell you this. And everybody knows, only the people may not say it. You see, Mary was around. But, do you know, this centurion did not say, I will go to Virgin Mary. And then Virgin Mary will tell my request to Jesus. No, there's a straight way unto Christ. And you come, you don't have to go to Mary and then come and meander. And before you come to Jesus, you can come to Christ. And you'll come to Christ tonight. I said you'll come to Christ tonight. And the centurion came unto him came to him directly because jesus is the way it's not mary not peter not saint john not saint paul not saint augustine jesus is the way and because jesus is the way he is the way to god if you're going to get to god if you're going to be saved if you're going to get to heaven jesus is the way come to jesus and the centurion came to him pleading with him begging him asking him and beseeching him saying lord my servant lies at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented he described the situation to christ he said my servant is at home and my servant is grievously tormented in terrible pain and I cannot just sit down there and bear to see the uh, problem of my servant. Therefore, he was saying, I need your help. I need your power. I need your miracle. I need the healing. I need something from you that will get this child, this servant, off the sick bed, off the bed of torment, and bring him back to life full of energy and strength that you can serve me again but seven jesus saith unto him i will come and heal him i will come and heal him do you know that jesus never said no jesus never said no to any aching heart and to any suffering man and to anybody that came to him and it's so simple if there is any delay at all in our miracle the delay is not with christ the delay is with us because everyone who comes jesus always says yes i will heal you yes i will save you yes i will deliver you yes i will forgive you yes i will do what you want that will make your life a fulfilled life a happy life a joyful life i will come and heal him and then the answer of the man surprises us because the man knew the authority and the power in the word that comes from christ the man knew what we are talking about tonight the wonder working power of god's word proceeding out of the mouth of christ and so in verse 8 the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed speak the word only speak the word only man how do you have such confidence in the world speak the word only centurion where did you get this understanding where did you get this concept speak the word only and my servant shall be healed and the centurion said don't you know your bible that on the day of creation god said let there be and there was the sun the moon the stars the sea the ocean the land 
every living thing in the sea god spoke the word only and it was done and then don't you remember your bible that sarah did not have any child and abraham was very very old now and almighty god spoke the word only and said by this time next year sarah will have a baby boy and the boy will be called isaac and it was so don't you remember your bible that almighty god looked at the children of israel they were by the red sea and they should have plunged themselves either into the red sea or surrender themselves into the hands of the egyptians behind them or then uh, flee to the right or to the left and then have a, a, co a collision with the mountains but then god said tell the children of israel move forward and you stretch out your rod and the sea parted don't you know it was by the word don't you understand that it is just the word do you remember the walls of jericho do you remember how they were standing very thick and very solid and god said just the word just the word tell the children of israel move around don't say anything move around once a day first second third fourth fifth sixth day on the seventh day tell the children of israel get up early in the morning and go around the walls of jericho seven times and then at the end of the seventh time don't shoot an arrow and they don't uh, use any digger and don't do any other thing just shout because the power is in the shout of praise and you shout the walls down and you go on and on and on and on like that and you'll find in the old testament the power of the lord was released by the word because of the word and so the centurion said i'll be following the word of god and then even the lord jesus christ i've been watching him i've been hearing stories about him a leper came to him and said lord i am a leper if you want you can make me clean and jesus said be thou clean and he was clean i read of another person this man that four people brought totally paralyzed and jesus said son thy sins be forgiven thee not a touch but the word and then that he said that you may know that it is which, which one is easier to say rise up and walk or to say that sins be forgiven thee and then he said rise up and take up your bed and go home just the word and the fellow rose up and the fellow said this centurion said i've been following that and i know there is power in the word that's why i'm telling jesus speak the word only and my servant shall be healed and tonight i come to tell you the word only i said the word only and healing is there already the word only deliverance is there already the word only salvation is there already the word only forgiveness is there already speak the word only my servant shall be healed speak the word only i shall be healed tonight you'll be healed speak the word only and i shall be saved speak the word only and i shall be delivered when you hear the word tonight and the word of christ the word of power the word of authority the wonder working word of god comes straight to your heart tonight you will never be the same again and then this man i want to read that verse 8 again i don't want you to miss it because that is a secret of the power of the word of god in your life tonight that is a secret of you having the victory here tonight speak verse 8 the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that i should have come under my roof but just stay where you are and speak the word only and my servant shall be healed and then in verse 13 and jesus said unto the centurion go thy way as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee do you believe god tonight do you believe god tonight do you believe that blind eyes will open do you believe that the lame will rise up and walk do you believe that the word of christ is still mighty and powerful today 
Do you believe that you have a testimony tonight? Do you believe that you are happy tonight? Do you believe you are carrying your miracle back tonight? As thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And a servant was healed in the self same hour. And this very time now, in a few moments, you will be healed this self same hour. You will be delivered this self same hour. And you will be totally set free this self same hour. All your sins will be forgiven this self same hour. The moment you believe that word, the moment you accept that word, and the moment you say, Yes, Lord, here I am. The miracle is mine. And the word of Christ is coming to me. And the word that comes with power, with authority, is because of me tonight. I accept it. I believe it. I receive it. And because of that, it will be unto you according to your faith. And the time has come now. First of all, you come to Christ. Isn't that what the centurion did? First of all, he came. He came unto Christ. He came unto Christ. That's the secret. That's the first step. When you come to Christ, Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am a sinner. I want you to forgive my sin. I want you to change my life. I want you to turn me around. And it is that first step that grants you forgiveness. It is that first step that grants you salvation. And then after salvation, already now you have come to Christ. And you are now in talking terms, relationship, interaction with the lord jesus christ because as many as received him to them he gave power to become the sons of god even to them that believe on his name and that moment you are born again you become a new man a new woman a new boy a new girl and then after that now now that you are in the presence of christ and you are born again and your sins are forgiven and you have the salvation of god and the peace of god now you can say lord the next step now speak the word and i get my miracle i said you get your miracle it's bowed and eyes closed it's bowed and eyes closed a miracle is coming your way today tonight you will not miss it if you have been missing it before maybe because you didn't come to christ first but now you are coming to christ and as you come to christ now after that i'll be praying Power, prayer of authority tonight prayer of power tonight prayer of anointing tonight and tonight every yoke in your life will be broken but first thing first first thing first and that is coming to Christ I'm inviting you to come to Christ now so that all your sin he will take away all your unworthiness he will take away and all the guilt, all the condemnation that you have, you will take away right now. If you're making up your mind, I am coming to Christ tonight. I'm coming to Christ tonight for salvation. I'm coming to Christ tonight for the forgiveness of my sin. Where are you? Just raise up your hand. Thank you very much. God bless you there. God bless you. Thank you very much. You're raising up your hand. Why don't you stand up now? Why don't you stand up with your hands raised to the Lord? You know that you are not worthy. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But now you are coming to Christ so that all your sins will wipe away. Please stand up. Please stand up. You are. You are saying, yes, I give my life to Christ. If you are in the midst of other people standing, just raise up your hand as well. Our counselors will see you. This is the first step. The centurion came to Christ. And after coming to Christ, it's then you have the word of power, the word of authority. And I'm inviting you now, come, come, come to Christ. Tonight, I'm coming to Christ. Tonight, I'm coming to Christ just as I am, without one plea, without any excuse. Lord Jesus, I come, I come, I come to thee. They are coming. That's why they're standing up now. That's why they're raising up their hands. And that's why they're raising up your hands. Anywhere you are, you're in front here. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. You can raise up your hand and also stand up. That you come to Christ tonight. And the Lord has said, Whosoever comes to me, I will for no reason 
cast him away he will not reject you everyone that came to jesus he accepted he never pushed anyone away he never rejected anyone come come now come come quickly and show each by raising up your hand and single yourself out from the crowd say yes lord i come yes lord i come yes lord i come we're going to pray together all those who are standing are we ready to pray let me hear you i said are we ready to pray yes i'll pray now and then from the depth of your heart you have accepted you have believed and you have come to christ he will forgive you let's pray father in the name of jesus i pray for all these who are standing i pray for those who are sincerely genuinely leaving all their sins behind and they are coming to you they know that they are not worthy of your salvation but you have come and you died for them on the cross of calvary lord i pray your salvation will come to them now in jesus name your forgiveness is coming to them now in jesus name and i pray lord you give them peace of mind rest in their soul and give them assurance of the forgiveness of their sin and the assurance and the reality of salvation within them in jesus name all the sins they ever committed since they were born wipe everything away take everything away take the condemnation and the guilt away from them in jesus name confirm in their spirit in their soul in their mind in their heart right now that they are children of god that you have forgiven them and that you have given the power and the grace and the strength to go and sin no more transfer lord your own victory into their very lives that from now on they will live in newness of life in jesus name we thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray and everybody said amen thank you very much why don't we put our hands together for jesus for the forgiveness for the salvation for the peace of mind thank you god bless you are you ready you will catch it now whether you are the back is reaching you or you're on this side is reaching you anywhere you are i send the word of power unto you speak the word only and tonight i will be healed tonight i'll be delivered tonight i am set free whatever your infirmity whatever your disease whatever the deformity tonight the word of power is coming to you and you are catching your miracle now i will not miss it i will not miss it i will not miss it close your eyes raise up one hand lay the other hand where you have the problem when the word gets to you the miracle has gotten to you already father in the name of jesus we come to worship you tonight and we exalt the name of jesus tonight Oh Lord, I pray you will touch everyone right now in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, by your stripes we are healed. There is nothing else to do. There is no other sacrifice to make. There is no other place to go. You have borne the stripes already. And by your stripes, this my brother is healed. This my sister is healed. This woman is healed. This man is healed. This child is healed. That daughter there is healed. By your word, we are healed tonight in Jesus' name. The spirit of dumbness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Deafness, get out in Jesus' name. And that spirit of blindness, you have no right to be there. I clear away the blindness, the darkness in your eyes right now. Open your eyes and see in Jesus' name. Paralysis, lameness, polio, stroke. You don't have any right to be there. I send the word to the bodies of the paralyzed now. 
And I pray the virtue of healing, the power of healing will enter into their bodies now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Goiter, hernia, hunchback, elephantiasis in the leg, or any other swelling in the body. I speak the word and I send the word unto these people all the swelling get out in jesus name spirit of insanity and spirit of epilepsy and all the spirit of affliction and the yoke and the curse right now i speak the word of deliverance and the word of freedom and the word of liberty and the word that breaks every yoke upon all these people pack your load and go in jesus name and lord i pray peace of mind will come to them rest in their bones will come to them all the pains all the affliction everything moving about in the body i command you get out in jesus name husband and wife that are barren there i send the same words unto you that will give you miracle babies and therefore right now i send barrenness out of your family and i bring miracle children into your family receive your miracle children in jesus name poverty unemployment you have no right to be there again the lord is bringing his people to abundant life i speak the word of authority and the word of power against your employment and your poverty and then i bring unto you the word of prosperity received in jesus name you students there i cancel failure from your life all the failure all the discouragement all the things that makes it to look as if you are dull no you are not dull that failure will send it back to the devil and i bring success into your life in jesus name lord the word i speak tonight to my right to my left in my front at the far back and then at my back here and then to near the road and near the gate anyone hearing now i send the word of miracle unto you receive your miracle in jesus name catch your miracle in jesus name lodge healings everywhere deliverances everywhere power everywhere miracles everywhere you have got it now i confirm it right now you will never be the same you are healed you are delivered you are set free you have got your miracle oh lord confirm it in jesus name we pray amen you have caught it i said you have got it i said you have got it the miracle is there now the miracle is there now the miracle is there now check up yourself you can see it right there and then as you see that you have got it you will shout praise the lord and we will praise the lord with you